Hey, what's going on guys? So right now I am actually trying to convert this medieval map from Quixel Megascan into Nanite and Lumen inside Unreal Engine 5. And I think so far it's pretty good. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Looks like the weather's changing on us in here. Now I have this uh, setting set to epic. So I'm getting pretty crap FPS and I am not able to actually package this up right now because I'm getting a lot of errors. It actually took me a minute to get rid of the uh, the actual game mode that came with the map. And what's crazy is, and this is what I was kind of talking about whenever I was testing the Nanite stuff, if you look at that tower over there, the windmill, I can see that windmill all the way back here. You know, that's just crazy. And uh, I'm trying to see if this freaking fog will kind of get away, move away. But it's pretty insane because even the buildings right now, I was actually able to nanite as well. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So we'll walk around here and then I'll show you what it looks like. So all these static meshes, the fences, I was able to nanite. So they're not going to be going away. They're going to stay on my screen the entire time I'm actually playing this game. This is just freaking bananas, you know? This is really cool. So all those uh, static mesh walls are nanite enabled. And the top right here, little, little, uh, I think they're called the little roof thingy. I can't nanite that because the material is masked. It's not compatible with Nanite right now. But man, this is really freaking cool. I took away the uh, collision for that, so. So here's the uh, the windmill that we can see from like far away. And I was able to Nanite that. Even the blades I was able to do. <laughs> this is so cool. No, I'm not a freaking video game developer at all, so please. I am actually just trying to convert this into a movie set that I can use for my shorts. Oh, yeah, my, my FPS is dropping here. Dropping here. And all these static mesh right here. It's flickering there a little bit. This is freaking cool. See that windmill back there? That's also nanite enabled, so I can see that from a far away. That's so cool. So yeah, I think it worked pretty well and it didn't take me that long at all. I pretty much just chose all the static mesh and nanite all of them and then whatever didn't work, I just went one by one and disabled the nanite. Crazy. Oh man, it is getting really foggy in here. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, so let's escape out of this so I can show you. I'm getting a lot of errors. So here is our scene. Triangles. You know, even even the little rocks on the back, they're all nanite enabled, so that I can see them forever. <laughs> this is so cool. Now, like I said, some of the stuff that didn't work out, this top right here, like I like I said, these little thingies, they're not gonna work. That's jacking up a little bit because there's I feel like yeah, there's a little. decal right here so we got this right here didn't work as well so you can see but i would say majority of the assets here i was able to actually nanite which is really cool what is this thing right here let me see what that is oh it's just a blocking volume okay so that don't even count so let me try that again Let's do an overview. 
So, look at that. Because majority of the stuff here are mega scan assets. So I was like, yeah, I can probably do majority of this. And sure enough, this looks really good. I mean, look at this. This is insane. Might have to change the lighting a little bit. But, yeah. I know some of y'all wanted to see this map in Nanite and Lumen in Unreal Engine 5, so here it is. Now, well, I'm actually trying to see if I can convert the rural Australia into Nanite because I want to see that in Unreal Engine 5, but that is harder than anything so far. Oh, let me do full screen. So this is the woods. Pretty cool. So yeah, I just changed up the uh, character because I was getting bored with the first person. So, just changed it up. Really freaking cool. But yeah, I know some of y'all wanted to see this in Unreal Engine 5, and here it is. With Nanite and Lumen enabled. And I'm also recording uh, with Shadowplay, so just do remember that. So I am getting less FPS because I'm recording with the same PC.